this is my quilt of many sewing machines. I used 12 inch squares made of six inch squares. So four six inch squares per square. Each 12 inch square was put together with a different sewing machine. This top one here was made with an 1878 Household Sewing Machine Company sewing machine. This one was treadle powered. Then the next group over was made by a Singer Model 12 transverse sewing machine. Made in 1881. This was a hand crank sewing machine. Then this one here, a Wheeler and Wilson, number 9, made in 1894. There's the name. This was an electric sewing machine. Then this here in the corner is the Bradbury Wellington, made in 1895 by the Bradbury Company. This one <clears throat> is a hand crank sewing machine. And we have this set of squares was made with a Singer 27, made in 1902. Again, treadle power. Then we move to the next set. This was made by a white vibrating shuttle sewing machine, made in 1903, treadle power. Then the next group, made a Singer 27, a 1906 manufacturer, Again, treadle power. And then the Western Electric Sewing Machine, made in 1918. It was an electric sewing machine. Then we have a Singer 99, made in 1918. This was an electric powered sewing machine. Then we had the Singer Model 115. Made in 1919. This is a hand crank sewing machine. Then we have a white family rotary. Made in 1919. Electric powered. Then right next to it. Is a white sewing machine. Family rotary. Made in 1920. Again. Electric power. Then we have this set of group. It was made with a Singer 66, made in 1923, treadle powered. And again, another Singer 66, made in 1924. This was an electric powered sewing machine. Then we have another Singer 66, made in 1927. This was a hand crank sewing machine. And then over here is a Montgomery Wards Damascus Grand Rotary made in 1927, a treadle powered sewing machine. These, this sewing machine here was made by the National Sewing Machine Company for Montgomery Ward. And the last set of sewing machines, we have this one right here which is a 1936 Singer 99. It is electric powered. Then we move over to the Singer 201, made in 1948. Right there's the sewing machine that it did. This is an electric powered one. Then I have a Singer 1591, 1952, those four squares were sewed with it. Again, this one is an electric powered one. And last but not least was my Sears, which is a Kenmore model 117-552, made in 1954. This is an electric sewing machine. This sewing machine was the last model made by the white sewing machine company before they quit having the white sewing machine brand. 
I put all of these squares together with a modern sewing machine. I used my brother computerized sewing machine to, to put each 12 inch square together with the others. And then I had over in Willows the quilt corral. I had Gail do the long arm sewing machine stitching for me. And it is a vintage sewing machine pattern. Well, that's about it for these. Thanks a lot.